Hey guys, so on Saturday I will be launching a new series. Um, so sat that will be Saturday the 7th of October. I will be launching a new se series and uh, this video is kind of an introduction and also a prequel to the series. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna quickly tell you a few things about the series. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to take this, like, minimize this glare but it's not working. So, um, about the series and then there's also gonna be the rest of the video will be a kind of prequel which I will get to what that means when I tell you what the series is so the series is going to be a kit a stash kit kind of series and so every five weeks I think I'll explain that and in, in a bit um, I will make one kit based on something I need to use up in my stash, something that I've had for a long, long time. So it could be something that I've never opened, but I've had it for two years, or it could be something that I have only three pieces left of and I want to get rid of. I mean, I want to finally use the things up. So um, the kit will be based on that item. Or another thing I could do is base the kit on something brand new and that way I can also and like the stuff I pull for that for that item will be older stuff so I might have everything older and then just that one new thing or um, I think if the first couple of kits will be based on an older item that has almost been used up because those that's my priority at the moment but then I think once those kind of dwindle down then maybe I'll take like a brand new 6x6 paper pad that I maybe used twice and then inspire a kit from that. But the stuff that I pull for that kit will be older things. So for example, I probably, I've probably repeated myself, but I'm trying to explain this. So for example, I might pull out the... Um, Oh, I might pull out the plus one paper pad by Amy Tangerine, which I know it's pretty old, but I just got it and I've only used it a couple times, so it's new to me. And then the papers I pull to match that will be, for example, from something that I had for three years. So that will be maybe the Atwell collection or some older 8.5 by 11 papers or stuff like that. And the same goes for embellishments. So by using the new stuff, I also use the old stuff. So I'm hoping this all makes sense. But um, the first couple of videos, the first couple of kits will be based on old packages of embellishments mostly, I think. I filmed the first one, of course, and then I'm starting the second one right now. Um, so both of them are based on old embellishment packs at the moment. So I might mix it up and do something else later, but that's kind of the options that I have. So the inspiration piece could either be something old that I haven't used or that I've had a couple pieces left to use or it could be something brand new but the things I pull for it will be um, will be old so I would use old stuff so yeah okay moving on to the next part of this introduction um, in the series they you'll get four videos and sometimes you'll get a bonus video. So the bonus video will be the, the prequel, um, which I'll tell you what it is in a bit. And then there's also, so videos will go up every Sunday. So there's three consecutive Sundays, uh, Saturdays, I'm sorry. There's three consecutive Saturdays. So for this first installment of the series, on October 7th, you will get a stash kit share. So you'll be seeing what I use, um, I'm going to be using for the layouts I make and I'm going to kind of explain how I chose things and stuff but not in such a big detail because of what the prequel is but um, yeah, there, won't, there won't always be a prequel so depending if there's a prequel or not I'll explain the kit in necessary detail but um, yeah <laughs> there's that and then the next Saturday after that which for this month will be the 14th you'll get a process video of one of the layouts I make. So we'll be making two layouts um, for each kit. So the first layout will be posted on the second Saturday, on the Saturday after that, and the third one on the Saturday after that. So that means the layout will be going, will be live on the 14th, and then the second layout will go on the 21st. And then on the, I'm sorry, I forgot, I'm kind of looking at the dates. And then also get a killer kit and a layout share 
the Monday after the last, um, after the second process. So that will be the 23rd. So that's four videos that you'll get every month. And then there's also the prequel. So like in the layout share and kill kit video, we'll talk about, um, like I'll show you what I made and what's left and kind of what my thinking process was of how to use stuff up. So um, that's what's going to be in the last uh, in the last video. I already told you what will be in the kit share. And then the process videos will be a process. And again, there'll be explanation a, a bit about how I combine things um, like old and new. And just kind of, it's a, my normal process videos basically, but I might kind of address some more specific things to the kit and stuff like that. But um, it will be mostly like my normal process videos. And then the prequel, which we will have occasionally, and um, I'm going to try and do it as often as I can, but I'm not promising anything about the prequel because it is a bit hard. So the prequel is the actual process of me making the kit in real time. So I, start, I just start with my, I pick my inspiration piece off camera, and then I go on camera, I go into my stash and find stuff that will match with, uh, to compose my kit. So it's kind of a live process and I explain everything in great detail and then I do explain most of, like eh, maybe half of that stuff a bit in the second, in the kit share and sometimes I mention things that I might have forgotten in the first one so I think it will be kind of nice to see both of the videos. So you can also see my thinking process as I make the thing and then I might also, and then you can also see the full kit again because um, you won't get that chance in the process video you'll see everything laid out but you won't see it in full detail as a kit together i don't know if this is all making sense um and this is this intro is going for a long long time so i might actually separate these two videos we'll see um no, actually i won't separate them because it's just too much of a fuss so i'm just gonna put them together and <laughs> If you don't want to see me talk for 10 hours, you can just kind of skip over. So yeah, that's basically it. And I might have a couple of people joining me in the next time and the time after that and so on. But um, for the launch, it will be just me and just kind of like a little hint. There might be someone joining me next month. So then uh, basically, so we'll get three Saturdays of the series and then the prequel and the Monday with the layout share. And then I have two Saturdays off, let's say, just to kind of give me more time to make stuff with it because school and tests and everything else that I do, it's a bit hard for me to make all those videos. So I'm going to do three Saturdays and then two Saturdays off and then three Saturdays again. So for example... The first installment, so that's October, will finish on the 21st, which is the third Saturday. And then, of course, there's a layout share. But that doesn't take too, too, much, too much time for me. It's not a whole process. I just turn the camera on and it's done. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be three process videos, two process videos. So, three Saturdays, so stash kit process and process, and then the Monday with the layout share. And then I'll have two Saturdays off, and then um, I'm looking at my planner here. <laughs> That's why I'm looking down. And then we'll start the second installment on the 11th of November. So that means the 28th there won't be anything or the 4th and then the 11th. So I hope that makes sense. So it's three on, two off is basically the gist of it. So I'm already enjoying this process so, so much. So I hope you come along with me and see what I make and maybe even be inspired to create with me some of these projects and... Um, I will also be sharing the layouts I made on Instagram, so if you want to see that, you can go ahead and follow me over there. It's at Grace underscore Islander if you're interested. And um, yes, I'm super, super excited about this, this, um, this series. And I think it will most probably be an ongoing series, um, for I will probably go for a long, long time. Because I do have a lot of things to use up. Unless I get bored of it, I might stop and restart it. But um, it's going to kind of be an ongoing series. So yeah, that's kind of my thought process. I didn't expect that to go on for 10 minutes. So I'm really sorry. Um, so now I'm going to let you watch the prequel. Which is me assembling the first kit. for Like assembling the kit live for this. Um, well, not live. In real time. For this... Um, 
for this uh, installment of the kit. Okay, I finally said that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch that. I really hope you like this series. I am having, again, I'm, I'm just enjoying making all these videos so, so much, so I really hope you like them as well. So I'm still chatting and I'm not turning the camera off, so I will let you go <laughs> watch the video now. So um, thanks for stopping by. So um, for this first mini kit, uh, I'm going to base it on what I have left of the Serendipity Die Cut Pack, which was released in 2014. Um, and it originally had 52 pieces, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 pieces left. So I'm going to try and use them up, because it's about time. I'm, I've had them since... 2015 I think so it's been two years but it's, it's I just want to use them up so I'm going to kind of show you my process of picking the kit I haven't picked anything yet uh, other than one sheet of paper um, so I'm going to show you the process and then I'll either have the like the kit share in this video or I'll make a separate video that will be posted later on I haven't yet decided that um, so my first instinct so when I see this I look at colors and stories I can tell from icons so for example there's glasses here donuts um, ice creams these star stuff and then this one's kind of general these two are general and then these are more themed although this could be these two could be less themed and this one um, but these are themed so I'm, uh, I'm immediately thinking about stuff to use those at least those up so first thing I saw was donuts and I have some donut stories I want to tell um, from the States so um, I thought I would pull some donut stuff so I knew I had this paper and this is a brand new piece so in this kit I'll be combining both old and new stuff um, but primarily it's based for me to use this up so while I make the uh, process videos when I make layouts my main priority will be to use these die cuts up and then anything other anything else that's older that I use up is just a bonus so okay um, so I pulled this paper so first thing is um, my mind is right away went to this paper I knew where it was I knew I had it so I pulled out my um, container with loose papers which if you want to see how I store all my papers um, I have a scrap room tour that's fairly new I think it was but first from September okay so I put pull, I pulled that whole thing out and I took out the donut paper so I'm gonna put this over to the side I'm gonna keep the die cuts up here because that's the inspiration and I want you to kind of see it uh, better okay they're all on camera um, and then this is a paper, but it's one of these sh thin sheets you get. This is in a haul video as well from um, Joann's. That's, if you get it on a deal, it's 10 for $2. And I also had a coupon, so it's about $0.16. Cents. Um, it's these very flimsy double um, one-sided pages. And I think this one was from the uh, Crate Paper collection, or at least it was, um, it was a Valentine's collection. And then I went through this whole thing before I decided to film this process. And there's only like 10 papers in here, but... Um, and then I pulled out this paper, which is from the Emoji Love Collection by Simple Stories. And it is called... Too Cool. Um, and I thought this would work nice because it has pinks and it has some blues. Which, these blues is pretty close to the, this donut. But it's not to um, other parts. So um, it's kind of like so it will work with some things and it won't with others. And I am only making two uh, pages with this kit. But I thought it would have given me a nice variety because I have blues and pinks. And uh, well, yeah, basically that. And then I, it also gives me some more colors if I want to add something. So I could always add some yellow and some black. Um, and then the back is these really cool strips that have has all the colors and it has two shades of pink and the blue and the yellow and a gray so I can either cut this in half so I can use both sides or I can cut strips of it I don't know we'll see if I end up using this so I did pull out this paper and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull out some more papers to um, see so 
out. I'm going to look at these colors and see what collections they remind me of at the time uh, right now. So, and what collections I own, of course. And I do want to bring in both 6x6 and 12x12, a couple more 12 by 12s and maybe some 85 by 11s So, because I already have these two new papers, I'm going to go get my 85 by 11 stuff, which is older um, than my 12 by 12s and start from there. And then um, I can see if I need anything else to add to that. So I keep my A4 paper in uh, A4 folders, all of my scrap room tour as well. So I won't go into too, too much um, detail. And you've noticed there's some navy in here. So I'm going to try and match this blue. And I do want to keep this kit a bit contained because, um, well, I'm only making two. Um, what is it called? Two layouts, yeah. So this blue might be a nice match. Yes, so I'm going to pull this out. Um, and leave it over here. And keep flipping through. So I'm going to add a little sticky note when I do this process. Um, here, so I remember what paper was in here. And I can just write blue. Stripe. So if I don't use all of it, which I probably won't, I can put the rest in that little uh, folder. And then here's a pink cloud. Oh, this is this is a nice pattern as well, and it matches that blue. I'm not sure what layout I will make. Maybe a planetarium picture from a long, long time ago, or maybe something to do with stars or. Maybe something about um, astrological signs, or maybe something about the eclipse, even though I don't live in the States, but um, my grandparents do, so maybe I can do something about that. Um, I don't know. I'll have to see if I do end up using that piece. Uh, so this is blue scallop. And if I feel like I can make a third page with the kit, I might go ahead and do that, but I'm not promising anything because um, I don't know my goal is to make two but if I see that I can make one more and use a couple more things I probably will but I don't know how I would post that so for the time being let's just assume there will be two process videos um, and maybe a third bonus one we'll see so I'm trying to match this blue and these are all different shades but they're pretty close well, this one with this one, so um, it might cause a bit of a problem in the future. But I'm going to just go ahead and pull this out, and then I can eliminate it if I want to. So I'm just going to put one out of the two sheets um, and keep going through. So I do have this pink donut paper, but it's a lot of pink. But if I do use that, it will be in small doses. So I'm going to go ahead and also pull out um, a pink stripe here that matches the pink in, um, in this emoji paper pretty well. Uh, so it can be easily used there as well. And just make a little sticky note, if I can find my sticky notes. There we go. Um, so this is pink stripe. And I do want to find some purple. So I'm kind of thinking what collections I have that have purple in them. Um, oh, there's some purple here too. Let's see. No, that's not the green one. The purple one. It's a bit darker, but I'm going to pull it just in case I don't find anything else that's purple. And see and I did have a purple polka dot oh here it is okay let's see if that's a better match no um, hmm, no not really and this doesn't really match anything else so I'm gonna go with that and I'm gonna check in some other collections as well um, to see if there's anything and I, this one has a lot of Christmas stuff so I don't think I'll find anything in here but I'm just gonna go oh here's another purple well it's the same or is it yeah 
It's the same thing, just uh, has a darker shade. So yeah, this one's better. Uh, and then there's this gingham, but I think that's not See, No, don't like that. There's some buttons. Oh, I do really like this paper, but not for this. And oh, this blue is nice too. Where's the blue doing that? Okay, now this is kind of more of an aqua and has some sh green shades in it, so um, it has to be lighter blues. Okay, so not anything in here. Now I'm trying, so I'm going to see what colors I need now. So I got purple, but I'm going to see if I have any better shades of purple. I do have some pink and blue. And I do have a kind of navy, navy-ish blue that matches this. Um, I do want to try and find something that might match this color a bit more. But I think I think it's okay. So maybe I'll pull, because I do like to have options. So maybe I'll try to see if I have another purple. And maybe I'll pull another pink and another lighter blue if I can find one. And I also want to go to 6x6 six six pads, so, um, yeah, I'm kind of trying to think of what I have. And I think some yellow will be a nice accent color. So, Sorry guys, I want to get some things. So I pulled this, um, this is the he Sunshine, uh, no, Hello Sunshine Collection by Fancy Pants. And I pulled this out because there's pinks and yellows in the six by six pad. Um, so let's just see if I want to use any of these. So this is a nice shade of pink. And I do really like that. So I'm just going to pull the, these scrap pieces. And it is a full 6x6 six six sheet. But it's cut. So, And then this one has uh, a bit of yellow. And it has... Um, I don't know. Because this is getting a bit... I don't want the green. So I'm not going to add this. But the yellow... The yellow I kind of like. And I think it would work nicely. And if not, I can just not use it. So I'm going to add these two pieces. Um, they're just I know they're just scraps, but yeah. Okay. Nothing else from there. And I might want to do a summer page because of this ice bud, um, what is it called, this popsicle. So I this these are pretty summery. They're a summer collection of as well, of course. Um, so I might add some more embellishments that are summery. And I know this is getting a bit much of paper, so I think I might get rid of the scalp because the blue isn't so um, visible. So we're gonna get rid of that, and that eliminates one paper. So I have one of each color, um, kind of now. And then this is the, the Rise and Shine collection. And I know it has some nice pinks in it and some greenish blues that might work. Now, I don't want to add any black. Um, I know there's black in this paper, but if I do use accent like darker colors, like neutral, let's call them, it would be this navy kind of blue or brown for this page, for example. Um, and if I do feel like I need black, I can always go back into my stash and find some. So this, this paper here is a pretty good match to this. It is a bit greener, so maybe this one would be better. No, I don't like these. Okay, getting rid of them. 
Uh, pinks, I don't need any more pinks. I know this one here is gorgeous. I love this one. So this paper pad will be quali is qualified as new to me because I only got it six months ago and I haven't used it all that much. So I'm going here. So I am gonna pull this six by six pa this um paper um because it's a kind of new it's a salt it's more of a solid kind of thing and I I do have two stripes so I won't be able to use these two papers together but I can't use it with one of these um as well. I don't know if that makes sense but yeah. So okay, I slip through what's left in here. I think um, there used to be some yellow, but I used it. So I don't think we'll find anything else in here. And uh, I was right. So I still need to find some purple. What collection do they have has purple? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Purple, 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 purple. Ah, I can't say purple anymore. Okay, purple. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just gonna go over to my closet and see. Let's look through and see if anything reminds me of purple. So that one, do you know? Okay, so I have the Better Together collection from Amy Tangerine, and I think there's a couple of papers that have some purple, which is a pretty good match to the purple I'm looking for, and they also have pink. So um, it will kind of be best of both worlds kind of situation. Um, I'm not. I don't want to add any more pink, but. Um, I do want, I'm looking for purple or blue. I think this blue color would be a nice match too if I find a paper that has that exclusively. So this blue is a really nice, it's, uh, I don't know. I probably won't, I won't use a donut for this for, with florals, but um, I don't know. No, I don't think that's going to work. This has green in it. This is just pink, pink. I love all these papers, don't get me wrong, but I don't want pink. But um, I could pull this for the glasses aspect, is what I'm thinking. But I don't have any current stories, I believe, to tell with the glasses. I'm sorry, guys. My lighting is getting a bit weird because it is 5.30 and it's starting to, um, the sun is starting to kind of go down. So it's not as bright anymore. But um, I think I will do a kit share so you can see everything in the better lighting later as well. Um, this does have blues, both the blues. And this will count as a kind of embellishment thing. And I, I do have one that's cut into already, so I'll pull that out. Um, this has the purple, but it's a bit darker. Okay, so maybe the, my purple idea won't work in this situation. So now it's just the same papers again. So I guess I kind of dismiss my own idea because all the papers I have the blue also have the green and I don't want green oh, I do have these cassette tapes that I can maybe pull but see this blue doesn't have the, this asterisk doesn't have anything to do oh I do like this hmm but I can match this with the pink okay I'm gonna I have scrap pieces of that so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that um, oh, these are actually nice too. Okay, so I'm going to pull this scrap and I'm going to pull the yellow. This gives me another yellow. I know this is a polka dot. So, see, I have a lot of the same patterns. So, I have stripes and polka dots, and then I only have one um, solid, and then I have these icons and this. But I have a lot of stripes and polka dots, so um, I, I, it might be a bit hard to work with. So then I also have these triangles. 
that I pulled. Oh, there's these stars. Oh, this star paper. How did I not think of this? See, this matches perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to pull the stars and not pull this. And then I also have the words. Um, so with the words, I can pull, I can cut the blues and the pinks and like the dark blue and the light blue and the yellow. So I'm going to pull this, which is going to qualify as embellishments. It's not as paper. Although I might match something with it, but I'm qualifying it as embellishments for the time being because this kit is getting a bit out of hand for just two layouts. So I'm not going to put that in because I don't want to waste your, your, your time. And then this is a little baggie of embellishments that has a word in it somewhere. Yeah, I don't want the cassette, so I'm just going to ignore the word that's in there. Okay. Um, so I think I'm good for the papers. I didn't find any more purples, so I'm going to have to work with um, this one. So I think I've got a nice assortment. I got my blues to match this. So I'm probably going to do a layout about using this die cut, which I know it's only one die cut, but it's better than not using any um, with that star paper. And then I'm going to probably do a layout about the donuts. So that's three more die cuts. And then we'll see um, if I do something else. But... Um, yeah, I might keep this kit together after I do the two process videos and do another one later, or maybe I'll do three. I don't know. We'll see because these are, these are, some of these are kind of generic, but I don't know. We'll just, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I'm planning on doing two, so we'll see. Also, this one kind of counts as embellishments too, because I'm going to cut these out unless I use the back. So that's kind of a mix. So you see, I have a mix of old and new. Um, this one's a semi kind of thing. It's not brand new, but it's not old. Um, and then the Amy Tan stuff is new, and this is new. And so the Amy Tangerine stuff and this paper is new. Oh, and these. But the rest is old. So it's a nice combination, I think, of all of them um, for me. So I'm going to keep these spread out. Oh, I'm really liking how this looks. <laughs> okay. I think this one's a really nice match because you get all... The colors so the blues a bit of yellow the pink and the purple kind of here and the blue so i think this will be a gorgeous thing and i can always pull in the second strip so if i go throughout the layout and i feel like i need to pull something else i i will i'm trying not to but i'm not going to deny myself using something up from my stash okay so now we get to choose embellishments i know the paper might seem a bit excessive for two layouts but i want to have options so they don't look the same so it's okay I can I'm just going with it um, so I have my die cuts here now I'm also going to go through my die cut drawer and see if there's anything more that I want to add so I'm gonna pull this one out my container and I don't um, I'm gonna go through this here this container part here is a mismatch of different die cut packs that I only had a few left which I did this before I got really into scrapbooking. So I just threw everything in here, it's not organized, and I do have to get around organizing it. So I'm gonna quickly go through it and see if there's anything I want to um, pick. So right off the bat, I see that three. Um, I don't wanna add any travel theme stuff because I, as I said, I do probably, I know what I'm going to do. Um, and I do want to kind of save my travel stuff for my travel photos because I got tons of them. I'm going to go quickly here. So I'm just shuffling through. These are black, so I don't want to add those. Um, this, the pink one at least, would, would work. Um, so I'm going to just cut it off because it's already thrown in here, so I don't care if it's on the same sheet or not. Um... And then I have this two, or oh, I also have the one. So the one has this weird gray color and the two has a nice blue, but it has a red. So I'm gonna, it's 
or it could be red as a pink i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and add all three of those in because you never know it's not a big deal i can always take them out so that's it from there i think oh i'm going to add this little flare because it matches everything nicely um this is a, this this container here that i'm going through or this section i should say is a kind of again it's a mismatch of little pieces so i got a couple flags left a couple of wood veneers a couple of brass and a couple of flare thrown in here so this blue is also a nice match i know there's this um kind of parachute thing on it not parachute it's a hot air balloon which probably won't match my stories, but I don't know. I might end up using it. Oh, this fair will be would work too. I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna add that there as well. Um, wood veneer. Should I add? Yeah, I kind of like the, the wood veneer. So I'm gonna add a couple of these arrows. I'm gonna add three just so I have the option of working in threes. And then, what else do I have? And I'm also going to add this camera. And I do have some of these little star thingies. So I could use these star thingies with that die cut. So um, I'm going to pull those as well. And try to use them. Uh, so I don't want to pull any of these um, things because I haven't used them newly yet. I haven't used them by themselves. So when I get a collection, I like to use it once or twice at least before I start mixing it with other collections, which is why, um, yeah. Unless it's, unless I really want to use, I, unless something really, really matches. But yeah, okay. So I'm just seeing, so I don't think I want to add, maybe I do. Hmm, I don't know. I have the die cuts and the tags from the collection these two pa um, papers came from, but they're really summer themed, and I don't think I'm going to end up doing a summer page, even though I have a lot of gorgeous summer colors, but I don't think I want to do that. So I'm not going to add anything, but I can always pull stuff out. Um, throughout the remainder of when I actual, actually start creating. So I'm thinking if I want to pull out any Project Life cards um, or cut aparts. If I do pull out cut aparts, it would be from the Amy Tangerine collection. Hmm. Um, I think I might need some, a bit more lighter blue. So I'm going to go ahead and find some in that color. So these are all the cut parts that I have um, pre-cut. So also it would be nice to have a bit more yellow. I don't need any more pink or green. Um, yeah, blue I can I can use. So one, and this has both blues on the same page as well and it's not a really good match to that but it does match this and um it does go with this so it again it matches some things but not everything and i don't i don't need two of those if i want to match something with that i i can just go back into these cards and pull them out because yeah um this is that same color kind of so i'm going to add just one of those in and again if i need another one the same same concept um i don't need i'm gonna add these yellow because it matches the yellow in this polka dot paper and i'm going to add um this one, because again, it has those blues, I'm going to just add one, and then this is pink stuff. So, yeah, 
I need to kind of limit myself because I have lots of paper stuff and not dimensional stuff. Uh, so let's think of stickers. I'm going to get my sticker basket. And see what I want to add. And I'm not, I don't, I'm not, hey, I'm not going to add any um, letter stickers because I only have, I have four different types of thickers and a couple of other options. So it's not like I have a huge amount to choose from. So I'm just going to find what I think works for um, everything. So I'm going to pull these enamel dots because they have the, the triangles are blue and there are some pinks and there's a neutral gray if I do end up using, if I do want to, um, if I don't use the blue, the navy blue or the brown, um, I can use some gray. Um, and these are stars and here I got stars. So I'm gonna add these in too because they're white and they can be used anywhere. Um, the I love these. I've been trying to use these on some layouts for Gazillion for like the last couple layouts I made and I just can't. I'm thinking, do I add them or do I not? Because I do have the pinks and I got yellow um, and the blue is kind of nice. Okay, I'm going to add these. So but actually I'm going to add this loose sheet that I have. I don't need to add this one. Um, let's see what else. Hmm. Okay, this chipboard pack. Um, no, this isn't really. Actually, the blue kind of matches, but mm -mm, I don't really like it. Uh, okay, these are travel themed. These stickers are really cute. But these are something, again, that creates stories. Um, so, most of these have a different story I want to tell that doesn't match with these die cuts. So, I'm not going to add these because, for example, here, this is one story, this is another story, um, this is another story, um, and then I can think of stories um, for the other stuff. Ah, yikes, other stuff as well. Um, oh, there is this moon. Hmm. I'm going to cut it. I don't usually cut things, but I know where it came from, so I don't know. I, I hope I use that because I don't know how I'll package. I don't usually cut things. Okay, and this is white, and I haven't used it yet. Okay, I'm going to pull this in as well. So let's see what embellishments I have. I got my die cuts. I got finishing touches. Um, I had some flare stuff and chipboard. Um, so I do want to add just maybe a couple more um, icon things. Maybe some tiny word stickers. So I'm going to add my trusty tiny word stickers. These are the only ones I currently own. So these are um, Tim Holtz ones. And I have a pile of scrappy stuff on my chair here with a layout I'm working on, so I'm kind of pulling stuff from there too because it's almost done. I don't think I'm going to use any of it, so I'm not going to use that. Um, no, probably not going to use that. This is about friends. Um, the colors match, but it's the friend. The theme is friends, and I do have a lot of friends pictures, so I want to focus on using these there. So I'm not going to use that because also, as I said, it's donuts and star stuff um, and none of that involves friends. And then this, I think, is a nice match as well because um, there's the pinks, there's, well, it's the pink, basically. It's a pink and some yellow. And this one has blue, too. Um, these, I don't, I have a really cool layout I want to make. For these, so um, I don't want to put them in this kit, and these are brand new. So, um, so I just got the pink stuff basically, and some black again. It's another neutral, which I probably won't use, but you never know. And there, 
is green, which I could use because there is a slight, oh, this is shouldn't be here. <laughs> Sorry guys, hiccuped. There's a slight amount of green there. So I'm gonna pull it in for the pink and maybe the green. And I think that's about it. Unless I wanna pull the Better Together um, stickers. But as I said, oh, there's some donuts on them. Okay. I'm gonna pull these stickers. Again, it's mostly, not mostly, it's literally only because of these four donuts. And that would just be a nice option. I don't think I'll use any of the other stuff. Well, there is some pinks um, and golds and stuff that I could use, but I'm mainly pulling this for the donuts because a lot of this, again, is themed and I have stories I want to tell that's not uh, relevant to this kit. So it's not well, it's not relevant to this, the die cuts, which is what I'm trying to use up. So I'm pulling it for the donuts. And then if it turns out, I might use a couple more things. Um, so I think that's it. I do want to go through my washi and see just a couple of options. Got my washi um, right off the bat. This is exactly like that paper I pulled and it's one of my favorites. I love Scotch Expressions washi tape and washi tape from Hobby Lobby is some of my favorite ever. Um, I think the quality is really good. And also this one from the Atwell collection is good. That's Fancy Pants. Um, but I, I'm never disappointed with Scotch. It's, it's my favorite. And Hobby Lobby has some really nice options too. Um, okay, so I'm going to pull these two. I'm going to pull this blue one because it's like a navy color. And maybe... Um, that's, I want to see this out of the bag. Um, I, okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out too, but I don't think I'll use it. I might, I might be proven wrong. This is from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of birthday themed, so I don't know. That's my problem. The colors match, so there's pink, blue, and green, and gold, um, but I don't know. I mean, this one matches the uh, this collection very, very nicely. So I'm going to pull it, and I don't know if I'll use it. And then I'm kind of thinking about these pineapples because they're gold. But that completely goes in my head as summer. It screams summer to me, um, is what I should have said at the beginning. Um, so I'm not going to pull it because I don't want to do summer pages. Okay, so that is my kit. I know you can barely see it now um, because I haven't displayed it very nicely. Um, but I just wanted to show you my process of making a kit. So I literally, I did everything on camera. Um, I did nothing off other than the paper I showed you at the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and create a separate video with the, uh, actual, like the kit share. And I'm not sure how I'm going to post this one relevant. I might, they might go up on the same day. Um, so on the same day so we'll get two videos in one day and then the next time um i post something with series you get the process video uh i don't know i haven't yet uh figured that completely out so <laughs> we'll see but i'll probably have both of the videos so how i made the kit and the final kit on the same day um or if i if they're not on the same day one will be on saturday and the other will be on sunday um, or one will be on Friday as a kind of pre, like a sneak kind of thing. And then um, the, the original one would be on uh, Saturday. I don't know. We'll see. I probably, I think I like that idea. Okay, so I'm going to start, stop talking now. And I'm going to film the share tomorrow morning. So you can see the lighting will be a bit better. Uh, well, not tomorrow, not tomorrow morning. But tomorrow when the lighting is better. Or Tuesday when the lighting is better. Because tomorrow I have school. But okay. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, also, I should, I should say, um, okay, so, 
uh, make sure to subscribe if um, to get notified when all the videos in the series will go up so you don't miss anything um, if you like this video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions or any opinions or anything leave me a comment below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible I love reading comments from you guys so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video